What's up? Welcome into your daily Buckeye Blitz for a Saturday. Saturday in the park. I think it was the 4th of July. False. March 2nd, 2024. Eat it. All right. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. I'm getting fired up. Got me a little mocha, mocha coffee. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's good stuff. All right. Energized, ready to go, ready to bring you your daily blitz. Today, we're talking about James Laurinaitis and uh, focusing his words on CJ Hicks, what he had to say about CJ and the rest. Uh, we'll, we'll kind of look at the, the linebacker room a little bit. Um, yeah, linebacker heavy this week, I guess. I didn't even plan it that way. But um, when Lern, James Laryngitis talks, you listen, right? It's a joke. I know his name. All right. Uh, hey, uh, hit the Buckeyecast.com. Check out the video vault. Plenty in there for you to enjoy. We have over 200 videos, recruiting heavy, uh, highlight videos, all your favorite Buckeyes. I'm adding more every other day. Um, condensed games. Uh, we've got highlight game highlights with Paul Keels on the call, the big daddy. So check those out at thebuckeyecast.com. Give the free trial a whirl for three days and uh, see if you like it. No ads. These videos have zero, zero, no ads. It's like a YouTube, but without the ads, you know. Uh, anyways, hope you check it out at thebuckeyecast.com. All right, let's get into it here. Um, what else is happening? I don't know. Sunday night, me, Jeff, and Sean, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, maybe not Sean. We'll see if, if he can make it. Uh, it's his birthday, so who knows? Uh, but me and Jeff at least will be there. We'll be talking um, spring position battles. Get you fired up with uh, spring ball starting up this coming week, and uh, what we're watching, what we're looking for, and uh, all that fun stuff. So let's get into it here. James Laronitis on CJ Higgs. So James Laronitis entering year three of his young coaching career. Um, he said in a recent interview that, uh, quote, I don't think a lot is different. I certainly felt that like a linebacker coach last year, I think the guys would have said the same thing. It's the little things that make me that uh, that are different, uh, maybe not doing some things and the breakdowns that a graduate assistant does. So he's not he's not cutting tape up. Uh, he also said, quote, it's being able to have my own office, to be honest, uh, like when you're meeting with the guys and we were kind of meeting in the defensive staff room and everyone's trying to get ready for practice. Right. Uh, people are walking in and out. And I think just having my own space, that's something uh, it's a little thing, but it's something I'm looking forward to. Definitely. All right. Uh, so Ohio State heads into spring camp, replacing Two starters at linebacker. You got Tommy Eichenberg, Steel Chambers. Just saw them this week performing well at the combine. So, specifically on CJ Hicks, can he make the leap for the Buckeyes in year three here or entering year three with CJ? Uh, if you remember, Captain Buckeyes, he was known during the recruiting period. Uh, he was a five star, 9948 out of Archbishop Alter down in Dayton, 6'3", 215 coming in. Number one linebacker in his class, number seven player in his class overall, and obviously number one player in Ohio. So he has has all the ability, and, and nobody's denying that. But I don't know, maybe maybe he was over overrated, you know, Um Maybe the, the level of competition was not up to, you know, some of the big schools, you know, like like your um, your South Florida schools or your DeMathas over in, in DMV area. So or your modern days, you know, maybe maybe that's the issue. I don't know. But um, right now, let's see. CJ is listed at six, three, two thirty. So he's put on plenty of muscle. Uh, he's in great shape. So uh, entering the third spring spring of his third season for the Buckeyes. It's time to show us something, in my opinion. Um, but see, I, I have this thing with, with some Ohio State fans. Um, 
where they get so pissed off that CJ Hicks is not on the field. And it's like the question, it, the balance is, okay, do you want to see your favorite player play or do you want to win games? Because those are not always equal. Those are not the same answer every time, you know? So <clears throat> now I, I will hear the argument, excuse me, that um, the young guys need to play more often, especially in blowouts. And I think with this new 12 team playoff format, that's a must. I got to drink something. <laughs> Shit. Mm. All right. So can the former five star tap into his potential on a regular basis? He has all the athleticism the Buckeyes need, but they need to find another starter to go along with Cody Simon. Simon's going to start at the middle, of course. James Laurinaitis said, quote, consistency breeds confidence. So the young guys need to do it day in and day out. The vision for the linebacker room is to come out of spring with at least four guys that can play. So the two deep, um, two middle and two wills. Last year, they only had three guys who earned the right to play. We're going to have to rotate if we have the ability to because of the length of the season they are expecting. Uh, it would be nice if the linebacker room reflects the talent and the rotation on hand of the wide receiver room. Let's we'll see about that. Got some major strides to make before we can compare those two. So you got to remember, CJ is not the only option for the Buckeyes. James Laurinaitis has confidence in Gabe Powers. Uh, he can move into the rotation and become a, a playmaking linebacker. But Hicks has long been penciled in as an NFL caliber linebacker, right? Uh, but through two years, it's it's surprising that he's been just relegated to special teams duties and mop up duty. You know, um, snap counts for for CJ last year he had seventy five snaps. That's that's not good enough, man. Um, so the Buckeyes don't just hand out playing time, you know at random or for no reason. Uh, there's an ongoing conversation about Hicks unlocking more consistency on the practice field before making an impact in games. So with plenty of reps available in this spring practice uh, starting here next this week in March and April, this is going to be a key time for CJ's career at Ohio State. Um, here's another quote from uh, Lauren Nitus, uh, CJ has all the potential in the world. He does. I think sometimes he's just got to go go cut it loose and go play. Expecting a big spring from from Hicks. Uh, he has attacked the workouts. He just needs some consistency. Some guys thrive in competing for a spot that is open. He has so many traits physically that you love at linebacker. See, there's there's no shortage of of coaches whether it's Jim Knowles, James Laurinaitis, these guys see the the tools and, and like he said there, the traits that CJ has. He just – the learning the defense seems to be the challenge and what's keeping him off the field. And that goes back to the coaches, honestly. Uh, that is the position coach's job to teach the defense to the players in a way that they will understand it. If you're not getting the defense – through to these guys, you have to change your method of teaching per player. You know, maybe CJ Hicks needs it to be taught differently. So that goes back to Laurenitis and Jim Knowles, both. Um, uh, and then Steel Chambers this week at the NFL Combine had a concerning quote. Um, I'm sure you guys heard it. He said, quote, uh, when asked about CJ Hicks in interviews, Quote, he has all the skill in the world. Once he applies it and learns the defense like I know he is, he's going to be special. Learns the defense is the concerning part of that quote. Once he learns the defense. Year three, man. And again, it's not all on CJ. It's on Knowles, Laurinaitis. This is year two with the Buckeyes for Laurinaitis. Um, they got to they got to get through to to CJ. Um, so how much depth do the Buckeyes have at linebacker? You could look at a combination of Sonny Styles, CJ Hicks, or Gabe Powers, um, and mix in the dynamic ability of, of Arvell Reese. And the linebacker room has serious potential to be deeper than it has been in in a few years. Um, 
Simon is the only one that's really has any notable experience at linebacker. Played back in 2021, started the whole season. Um, had the torn labrum, played every week with a freaking brace on his shoulder, and then has a shirt, shoulder surgery, easy for me to say, um, before the Rose Bowl. Then um, then 2022, didn't play much at all. And then this past year, uh, Cody Simon had 373 snaps filling in for Tommy when he was dinged up late in the season. Uh, but anyways, Sonny Styles has spent virtually all of his time in the secondary with the safety room. Um, so CJ hasn't hasn't yet cracked the rotation in a meaningful way. Again, uh, 75 snaps last year. Um, Gabe Powers has only flashed in practice. He had 21 snaps last year. And then Arvell Reese, uh, who was initially thought of as a defensive end, had zero snaps on defense. He played a lot of special teams, though. Uh, so there's a ton of talent here, but it's really unproven, completely unproven. And game reps are crucial in the development of a linebacker, like most positions. Uh, to wrap it up here, James Lernitis said, quote, uh, Gabe Powers got significantly better from last spring through the fall. You noticed him making more and more plays to the point that it became routine and it looked like the light had gone on for him. All right, so keep an eye out for Gabe Powers. I could see him uh, backing up uh, Cody at, at the Mike position. So I think if if we can get CJ, and then you got Sonny coming in, kind of cock blocking CJ as well. You know, so who would you rather see at, at Will linebacker, Sonny or CJ? Yeah, tough one. Uh, if you guys remember back in like January, I think I did a, an episode of the Daily Blitz where I, I had a strategy to get both of them on the field at the same time. Go back and check that out, Sonny Styles and CJ Hicks. But that's all I got for you today. Don't forget Sunday night, me, Jeff, and Sean at 7.30 p.m. Eastern on YouTube Live. Hope you'll join us. We'll talk to you later. Go Bucks.